Hi, hi. It's a friendly neighborhood VTuber. So we're here again with a new tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how you can adjust your character scale using blend shapes with VC Face SDK. And in the later half of the tutorial, I'm also going to show you how you can toggle this scale effect off with a timer so you don't have to do it yourself. Okay, so for this tutorial, you're going to need the very latest version of VC Face SDK, Univerm 0.66, and of course, whatever Unity version is required by VC Face SDK. So, if you guys are ready, we should get started. But first, a slight warning, the later half of the tutorial especially is kind of complicated. So I recommend you check out my previous tutorials related to VC Face SDK first, if you have not done that yet. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Okay, now that you have your Unity project open and you have your VSF SDK imported as well as your VRM file, I make sure you first drag your VRM file into the scene hierarchy like so. Next thing we are going to do is we're going to open the armature all the way to the bone which we want to scale with our blend shape. So for this test case, let's make so that our character's head is going to become big whenever a specific blend shape is used. So let's select our head node first. And now we are going to create two components. Now it is very vital that you follow the specific order of these components, otherwise this will not work. So once you have your head selected, click the add component and then search for VSF. And we are going to go for the VSF set transform. And now for this first component, we are going to adjust the scale value. And we are going to set the scale value to three. Now you can of course set this to whatever value you want. This will be the value the head will scale into whenever this is used. And we're also going to set the auto set scale on. So now whenever this component is activated, the scale will be set. You can test this out by clicking play and then you should see that your character's head is now very big. Now the downside with this one component is that when we disable this component, it does not resume its original scale. So what we are going to do is we're going to now first set this component as disabled. So click that off. Now we're going to add another set transform component here. And this one, we are going to make it set the scale to one and then click the auto set scale on. Now it is very vital that your order of components is so that the first component sets them on and the second sets them kind of to the default state. Because all the animations we do will only be able to trigger this first component on or off. Okay, so now that we have this done, the next step is to create an animation. So we'll do this just like before in the previous tutorials. So enter the play mode and then you will need to drag a temporary animator to your model. If you don't have one yet, you can simply create a animator controller. Then you will drag that to your model like so and it will take the default position but remember that you only do this while you are in the play mode otherwise you will assign the animator to your avatar when it's not necessary okay so now that we are in the default animation pose we need to create the animation we can do this by going to the animation window if you don't have this go to the window animation and animation and now that you have the animation visible, select your avatar and then you can create a new animation clip. It will either be here or there will be a button here or here showing create animation clip. Click that button and give your animation some kind of name. We're going to call the scale head like so. And now we are going to animate the component turning on. 
So what we will do now is we will click the record button and then we will find our head. And in here, we will simply click this component on like so. And now you can leave the record mode. Now you have the animation done. And you can also leave the play mode like so. Okay, so the next step is that we need to actually get this to work. And to get this to work, we will need a blend shape clip. So go to your avatar's blend shapes, select the blend shape index, and let's create a new blend shape clip. And let's call this scale head, like so. And now select your avatar again. And we are going to add the VSF animations component. If you have this component already, you, can, you don't need to add it another time. If you don't, then click the add component and search for VSF and then add the VSF animations controller or component, like so. Next thing, click the plus icon. And now from the blend shape, we're going to select the new scale head that we just added. And in the animation, we're going to select the, the scale head animation that we just created, like so. And now we're basically done and we can export this to VC face and see how it actually works in action. So select your avatar, go to VSF SDK, export avatar bundle, and then export it somewhere. Okay, and now that we are in VC face, go to settings, expression settings, and then find the new scale head expression and bind it to a button. And then we can test how it works. And as you can see, our head is now big, and when we disable it, our head goes back to small. Now, what you could do in addition to this is to use Lioran board or some other, other way to integrate this with, for example, Twitch channel point redeems to toggle your head big, and then add a timer to toggle it small later on. Okay, so what if you wanted to change this effect so that you only need to turn it on, and then it will automatically turn off after a specific amount of time. This might be necessary if your Twitch integration is only able to send a hotkey once to trigger an event. So let's take a look how to do this next. So let's select our avatar again and then let's create an empty scene node. Like so. And let's call this scale head or head scaler like so. And now what we want this node to do is that we want this to turn off the scale automatically. So let's add a component, the VSF trigger. And we're going to make it trigger on timer. So click on the on timer. And for this test, let's make it toggle the head small after five seconds. Like so. You could make this minutes if you want your redeem to last longer. Just remember to also add a cooldown to it. So what we're going to do next is let's add an action. So click on the plus here and now let's drag the node that we were scaling. So in our case it's the head. Drag it to here and then from the functions find the set transform and then set it the enabled status to false like so so now what's going to happen is after this head scaler node gets activated it waits for five seconds and then it makes the head small but uh, this wouldn't be that easy after all so first of all let's disable the status of this node now because the way animations work is that when we disable an animation it will actually disable the status or roll back the status to the default state. So in our case, if we were to just uh, click the ob object on once, it would then revert back when we release the button in VC phase. So to get around this, we are going to create yet another node here to the avatar level. So create empty. And let's call this uh, scale toggler like so. And now, before we do anything to this node, let's go back to our head scaler node. And we're going to add one more component here. 
search for the VSF toggle component. And now we are not going to set any target object here, so leave it like this. So what this means is whenever this object or this control gets toggled, it will toggle the status of this whole game object. Now let's go back to scale toggler and again add a component and this time VSF trigger and this time we want this to trigger whenever this trigger gets enabled. So click on the on enable and to the actions click plus. And now we are going to drag the head scaler here and from the function find the VSF toggle and then find the toggle function like so. So now basically when the scale toggler gets enabled, it will automatically toggle on our head scaler. And now we want one final thing, which is that when we do this, we also need to toggle these things off. So let's go to the head scaler and uh, find the trigger that we added on the timer and add plus. And then we're gonna drag the head scaler here and then find the game object and then go to the set active and set that to false. So now basically when the five seconds are up, not only will it scale the head down, it will also disable this specific object. So we don't keep running this after every five seconds, otherwise this will break any further scaling redeems. Okay, one final thing to do is of course go to the scale toggler, set it the default state to disabled and then we need to edit the animation. So go back to the play mode and then we are going to drag again the temporary animator to our avatar, go to the animation and then find the scale head animation and click record. And now we are going to turn on the scale toggler like so and then leave the record mode. And now we can also leave the play mode. Okay, so there is one very final thing that we still need to do to change this avatar to actually work correctly. So select your head scaler node and let's create a new empty child node to it. So click create empty and to this node we are going to add yet another VSF trigger. This one we set to be on enable. So basically when our head scaler gets enabled we also need to toggle the head back to big otherwise the head will automatically go small when we release a hotkey in PC phase. So click on the actions, drag your head there then find the VSF set transform and then enabled and set it on. And now let's go back to play mode and then edit the animation a little bit more. So again drag the temporary animator to your avatar go to animation, find your scale head. And what we're going to do is we need to remove the head scaling functionality. So the very first animation we did, simply right click it, remove property. And now this should basically be done. So we can leave the play mode and export our avatar and see if we can do something differently in VC phase this time. Okay, and now in VC phase, go to settings, expression settings, and make sure you set the scale head to be hold instead of toggle. And now let's see what's gonna happen. So we click F12, our head goes big, then we wait for five seconds and see if it's gonna get small. And as you can see, it works. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you toggle this expression twice or more times while the head is still big, then that will break the system. So make sure that you add a necessary cooldown that this redeem does not get double triggered while the head is still big. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. And remember, you can do a lot more complicated things using the triggers and toggles with VC Phase SDK. It's going to take a while to figure out how to do them, but it's very close to, for example, how redstone stuff works in Minecraft. So I recommend you guys give that a try and see if you can come up with some interesting kinds of mechanics or systems. Anyway, if you like the content, consider subscribing down below as well as smashing the bell button to stay up to date with my latest tutorials. Also, do consider following me on those other social medias as well.
I do stream on Twitch currently on Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday, so you can also catch me live if you either want to see my setup or ask any questions, feel free to do that. Anyway guys, see you next time. Bye bye!